Hello, welcome back. Hope you've had a lovely meal. <laughs> I think my lamb was a smash. <laughs> We're going to drink the fourth cup now. Um, and they call it the cup of praise. And uh, the reference is to the promise that Jehovah made to the people and to us. And he says, I take you to be my people. Also, we could call this the cup of acceptance. Um, and it points us to the wedding supper of the Lamb. So, if you could um, pour um, a cup. Don't drink it yet. We'll say the blessing a little bit later. Okay, so don't drink it yet. We'll drink it in a bit of a while. I'm just going to read from Luke 22, um, the Last Supper. It says, He took the cup and he gave thanks and he said, Take this and divide it amongst yourselves. For I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And then he took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and he gave to them saying, This is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood which is shed for you. And he said, but behold the hand of him that betrays me is with me on the table. And if we go to Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 33, we read, Behold the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with the fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband to them, says the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. So... We go back to Matthew 26, 26. As they were eating, Yeshua took the bread. He blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. So if you want to take some bread and pass it to the person on your left, we'll bless the bread also. Blessed are you, uh, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Amen. So take a bite of the bread. Thank you. And of course, remember what it represents for you. So now we come to the, the fourth cup. And I'll say the blessing in a minute. Remember this is for us to look forward to um, what is to come in the marriage supper of the Lamb. As we take the cup, remember that as we accept and drink it, we're saying effectively to the Messiah, I do. We're entering covenant with him, betrothal with him, committing ourselves to be set apart for him, to prepare ourselves for him, to be without spot or blemish as we wait for him to come and to get us. So I'll say the blessing. Baruch ata Adonai eleheinu melech ha'olam barai peri agafin. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. And of course, this cup speaks of Jehovah's promise, I will take you to be my people. I will take you as a nation. And we know Jehovah took the Israelites for a people just as he promised Abraham. 
and he brought them into the land and he will bring us and we will be with him as well. Ephesians 2, 11 to 14 reads, Wherefore remember that you being in times past Gentiles in the flesh were called uncircumcision by that which is called a circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That at that time you were without the Messiah, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Messiah Yeshua, you who sometimes were far off are made near by the blood of the Messiah. For he is our peace, who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Isaiah eleven twelve, And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall, get, shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Jeremiah 23, 7 to 8. Therefore, behold, the days come, says Jehovah, when I will say no more. Jehovah lives, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Jehovah lives, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries where I had driven them. And they shall dwell in their own land. So when we drink this, we're remembering Jehovah's promises to bring us to be his people and to be with him. In Revelation 19, 6 to 9, we read, And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunder, and saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And it was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he says to me, write, bless the day which are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are the true sayings of God. And so <clears throat> we drink this, we look forward to that. But we recognize that we're betrothed to the Messiah and we prepare ourselves and we make ourselves ready for him. And look forward to that, which is to come when we get to be with him. It's pretty amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> Amen. So we'll just finish in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the incredible promises that we've just read in your word. Thank you for Yeshua, our Passover lamb, that makes it all possible for us. Thank you, Lord, that he's coming back. He's coming back in glory. And we'll be with him. I pray, Lord, for everybody taking part in this Passover, that they prepare themselves and get themselves ready to be without blemish and spot and ready for when you come to collect us, Lord, and to be with us. Thank you, Lord, for setting us apart, for taking us out of the world. Thank you for bringing us together as your people and for putting the delight in our hearts, Lord, for your ways, for your truth. There is no one like you, Lord. You're amazing, you're beautiful and you're kind and you're full of mercy and goodness and life and light. It is amazing, Lord, that you would love us the way that you do. And we thank you. Amen.